Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to perform a DFU mode reset by using your 8th generation iPad. If you have trouble with that iPad and the standard soft reset or the rebooting thing does not work very well, you can try to get this iPad back to life by using one USB two lightning cable you can see you will need a lightning cable two usb cable you will you, you will need an imac or an um, computer or a notebook or an other tablet as you like and you will need itunes itunes is running and up to date in the backside now it's time for us to get into the DFU mode. The DFU is the direct firmware upgrade mode. This is a backdoor mode to reset, to restore, to repair your iPad. How to enter there? We have a home button here. We have a power button over there. And these two buttons we will need, okay? We push them and hold them for approximately 10 seconds until we will see the Apple logo. After 10 seconds, we will release the power button, but still pushing the power button, uh, not the power, the um, home button, keep pushing until we will see in the screen or otherwise on iTunes on the screen that there is a DFU mode iPad detected. So let's perform this. Let's enter our USB side with the computer. Now we enter the lightning side with our iPad. iPad. Now we push the power button and the home button. We trust them. So we push the power button and the home button until we will see a rebooting process. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After 10 seconds, we will release, or it should be so long as you can see the brand, we release the power button on the, front, on the upper side. And now we are in DFU mode, as you can see. Because I pushed, I was still pushing on the home button. Now you can see in or on the screen, here's the lightning cable and a computer. That means now we have to enter our device with our computer. Push it in and then it comes an information about our iPad. Here we are. This is the information screen. On this information screen is the, the you can choose update or remove everything or restore mode. If you go to restore mode, all data are will be lost. But your iPad, after finishing the restore mode, is updated and refreshed. But all data are gone. Okay, but if you have so much trouble with your iPad that the soft reset does not work, the reboot, the reboot does not work, you have to perform it like this. After the DFU mode is processed, your iPad should be working very well again. If you are not going to do that now, you can unplug your iPad again, but here nothing works. Now, wait 20 minutes and your iPad will be, will be back in normal mode. Okay, I am now telling you again. Home button plus power button push approximately 10 seconds until you can see the Apple logo. Then release the power button, but keep pushing the, the home button until you can see that screen Otherwise, you can see an information in iTunes, then push or then you docked in the iPad with your computer by using a cable, lightning to USB, and then you can restore the device. If you does not do that, 
if you like to go back in standard mode, you push power button and the whole button, keep pushing until you see the Apple logo, and then you can come back without restoring your Apple device. It cost you 10 seconds, I think. Here we are, let's remove or release. And now we are back in business. If you're using iTunes, it will be restored and reboot after it. And then you have to make a new setup and job's done. That's easy, isn't it? Yes, it is. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback. And I hope to see you again on my channel. So, so.